Madrid really are destined for reach. So, be your own leader. Yeah, don't be no follower, you know? Yes, I. Yes, as we move through the pace, as we say, we have um, a special guest on the program today, bridging from out of Japan. Right, and uh, we have a link up with him in a moment, yeah, within, within the next three minutes or so. In this your one life, well, you, before, so. you face many problems, this trials one, and tribulations, but ease off. Cool down with the men. In this your one life, yeah, man, from CJ. You face many Joe. problems, trials and tribulations. Japanese but reggae singer. Cool down with the meditation. Think twice in a situation. Cause you really got it, really, really got it. Cool down, just cool down. Cool down with the meditation. Think twice in a situation. Yeah, you. In this your one life. Now for the youth, I'm for cool you down. You face many know. problems. Calm trials down. and tribulations. But ease up. Cool down with the meditation Think twice in a situation Cause you really got it, really, really got it Cool down, just cool down Cool down with the meditation Think twice in a situation Cause you really got it, really, really got it Cool down, just cool down Sometimes I want to break your bed your one life you face many I problems start, start trials and tribulations but ease off cool down with the meditation think twice in a situation ready, 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 ready. Cause Let you really got it really, I'm really got it your life. cool down just cool down cool down with the meditation think twice in a situation cause you really got it really really got it You're done already rolling like a rock steady. You're better than that, cause you're wiser than that. Oh, you don't know already. We no watch no penny, cause you're bigger than that, cause you're higher than that. Man is just a man, nobody is a perfect man. Man is just a man. So without no further delay, I want to introduce um, CJ Joe to the Mindset Program. Blessed love. Yes, I. Blessed love. Greetings from the Far East Japan. Konbanwa. CJ Joe there. <laughs> Manners and respect, my lad. Do give thanks to the eye, you know. Taking the yes, time. Sir. Yes, sir. Same way here. It's an honor, man. Respect. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, um, very um positive song, um, very powerful song, um, cool down. Yeah. Tell me, tell me, um, why did I um do a song like um cool down? You know, why why inspire for do a song like that? Well, you know, this song can relate to anybody who's going through their moments and many times in my life, you know, not only because I'm, I'm a reggae singer, 
or a Rastaman, but because, you know, I've, my life was not easy and I, I'm sure it can relate to a lot of people. And, you know, and there's a lot of, you know, being, being a person with patience um, is where I come from because Japan, Japanese people are very patient people and we have to learn to um, meditate. We, we have to keep silent, you know, and take in the pressure, you know, and sometimes, you know, we are human. So, you know, I'm sure this relates to any kind of race or color, you know what I mean? Where we all have a temper to cool down and once you lose your temper, things are not right. So I just use this cool down and made a song because many times, you know, I have, I feel like this, you know, and as a Rastaman, you're supposed to be full of love and peace. Yes. But I cannot be perfect and I would lose my mind sometimes and we get vexed. And I'm sure, you know, there needs to be a song, not only about Irie and, you know, I mean, I, I have a, I have a very uh, loving side of me, but I have a rebel, rebel, uh, a rebel side of me where I have to fight against the system. I have to fight against the pressure. I have to fight against the, the, the um, judgmental people around me. Um, I have to fight against the discrimination to the fact that because I'm Asian and doing reggae, people will not accept me, you know, like they would if I was a black man or even a white man, because they never seen this kind of Rastaman come out from the Far East. And I have to go to a lot of um, barriers just to express myself. And even though I do good, they would fight me down. So sometimes as, as, a, as a man with Ja standing alone, I have to fight and, and, and I want to do something differently in the physical, but I can't do that because I know that's not right because I don't want to fight with, with violence or brutality. I would fight with my music. That's why I sing this song to express my feelings. And I'm sure people who would feel this pressure of, of not being treated right or, or, you know, somebody says something really bad to the fact that you feel like you want to do something. You know, right. I would sing about it. Uh, you know what I mean? All right. Yeah, I, I hear, I hear you. Um, I hear, I hear you ask him a general. So, so, all right. This is, uh, so, Kai, you say you, 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 you're discriminated uh, again. So, um, you're saying that black people discriminate against the eye in, in, in the music? Well, I, honestly, sometimes I feel that, yes. But I wouldn't feel it as much as the other cultures, you know what I mean? Because a black man would understand, I think, you know, naturally that I'm not a white man. I don't want to go to this race thing, but, you know, I feel that black brothers are close to Asian people because, you know, we have, uh, we have a mix. We're in between a lot of cultures i guess because we're in asia and when you respect the black man through music that means that you have to take a sacrifice because you don't not bow to babylon like in the western society you you respect black music or respect the african culture you know so i think just being that is is a lot of respect toward the black man but Yes, I do have haters because the fact that maybe I can sing good or they would think like, what him know about the African culture, the black man? Um, you know, certain things I would, I would face. Like I used to live in America. So, yeah. you know, you have good ones and bad ones. So it's everywhere. And sometimes they don't understand why you is Japanese, but you know about Jamaica. So they would test me. You can talk to Patua. You, you know what this is. And this is, you know what I mean? But, and um, it's, <clears throat> yeah, I go to that a lot. Yeah, man. Yeah, they, they, but they, are, they are saying that, though. You, you, you have, um, 
<laughs> you have a Japanese sound right now. At, um, I think Mighty Crown, right? Yeah, Mighty Crown, yes. Them Virgin Days um well loved by you know a, a, a lot of um a lot of black people and and and, and Jamaican people within within the music. Yeah, but you see, um, I don't want to go deep into the history because honestly, I come from the same roots of 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 the crown, but I don't call myself one. But I was I was this is where I started my music, you know, and I don't want it to go to, you know, well, having people right. who li listen. So I know how they feel when they went over to the states and do the clash thing because I think I know that they had some fights in the beginning but after they take the crown or the trophy or the class champion then people started to rate them so i'm not saying that you know everyone will you know like get get that respect because for me um i'm more probably a new one that they never really seen they seen a sound they seen the sound thing they seen the dancers one good so it's already established in a way in internationally, globally. But as an artist, they never expect a, a, a Japanese to sing so good in English or Patua. So when they see that, they, it's, it's kind of strange, you know? So I don't know because maybe I'm one of the first. There's a couple more before who tried, but didn't really make it like that. I didn't make it yet, but you know, I'm trying. But All I right. still think that I'm not a big name and people don't know about me. So I will have to go to the fight, you know, All and right. I'm, a, I'm, I'm not a sound man. So when you're not a sound man, it's a different thing because, you know, the man, they still have a clash to prove themselves that they are the boss. They are the champions once they win the clash and thing. So it's a different energy for me because I'm not a sound system. I don't have dub plates to prove myself. I only have CJ Joe, what he has to say and to sing. So it's another different, I wouldn't say it's a different vibe from what they go to, but there is a, a fight that they must have gone through before they became very famous and popular, you know? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. All right. All right. I hear you loud yeah, and yeah. clear. Loud and clear, my general. So, all right, talk yeah. to me now about, um, you know, about, about growing up in, 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 in your community. Cause I know enough people probably um, are here for the first time, and some people probably, you know, hear you a lot of time. You know, so talk to me about um, growing up in your community and, you know, how you, 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 you start really engage into reggae music and, and the culture. Well... Yeah, I started in Yokohama City, which is, um, this is where Mighty Crown comes from. I don't want to say the names, but everybody always asks me this. So I just have to kind of go straight to the point where the school I went to, and I wouldn't say this too loud, but I have to tell the truth. Uh, I was in the same school, educated in the same classes, same teachers. So, um, I would say that I represent one of the Japanese that are international educated to the point where we can talk English very good as a Japanese, you know? But the thing is, I grew up there. They, they were, we, well, I would say I was one of them in the times of back in the days in 91, you know? So this is where I started to do my reggae, but um, eventually, there was a couple of members, including myself, that went um, to other sound systems. And from there, I started to really develop my artist career. And then I went to the city called Tokyo. Um, and this is where I really got into um, being a solo artist, where I started to uh, perform by myself and, you know, start to do these kind of recordings for record companies and start up my career. And then from there, I just started to live in Tokyo um, and started to do my reggae seriously. And it's been a while because I've been doing this 29 years now. So um, 
yeah, so it basically started from Yokohama City, which is my original place. And Tokyo is my next home. And uh, from there, you know, I started to live abroad. A couple of years, I go back and forth. Uh, I went to Jamaica and tried to do many things there, came back. And I've been representing um, the reggae since, ever since. But to become who I am now, um, singing about culture and roots and Rasta, this kind of thing was not that style at that time. I was not a dreadlocks like my picture up there right now. You know, I was like a bald head, rude boy, ragamuffin, dancehall youth. Um, the times were 90s. So it was back in the 90s where I picked up the dancehall and to the reggae and the culture. Um, a little hip hop before, you know? So, so I it, was, that's, that's basically how it's been a, a brief summary of myself. So was it yeah. really um, the, 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 the dance side of the, 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 the music that really um, get you, get you interested then? Uh, well, yes, dancehall, because I was not into the roots and the generation was very older than me. At that time, it was, it was more the Bob Marley era. It was more of the black who steel pulse, you know, third world, this kind of, um, elders in Japan would love the reggae. It was a li little hippie movement from since, uh, Bob came in 1979. And then after that, they had the reggae song splash and Japan splash. And I came out as a youth from 91 because this is the time where my generation in the reggae came out. So um, that's I'm in the next era. But before me were elders who met Bob Marley, who met Dennis Brown, Gregory Isaacs, and, you know, doing the reggae music. But it was a roots scene. And the dance all came out from the 90s, where, you, like you mentioned, Crown and everybody came out, including myself. So this is the new era of the 90s that started to boom to the now, you know? So the roots and the foundation kind of did out, like died over the years. But it used to be bigger than the dance hall. But now it's it's younger generation. The times are different, so you got a couple of elders that are still alive. Some of them passed away, so the times are different now. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um. So, so you, you, the eyes, the eyes are a very big artist in 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 Japan. Then, just to. Uh. Well, what I do, I think I do it very good to the point where, like, I decided to step out and do my thing overseas. And, um, yeah, they, they still would call me back, which I think I'm going to have to go back soon um, for a big festival or Roots, for, like the Roots Festival in Japan, maybe in the summer. I'm not sure yet, but, you know, um, they got these kind of things happening in. They have the One Love Jamaica Festival. Um, it's kind of smaller now, but I've been on those big festivals with the with the Jamaican people in Japan, and held, holding the, the big festivals there. And uh, yeah, so I, I I think I've been doing my thing pretty good, and I've been doing it for a long time. And I have Japanese reggae songs that are already hits, I would say. So I already made it to a level, but the thing is that um, I always wanted to go outside of Japan, but I waited for the right timing when I was ready, you know. And uh, I tried in my years back um, trying to do things in America and Canada and um, go to Jamaica a couple of times, but it wasn't really like, you know, I would really go there and really do it constantly you know what i mean so it was more of experience and you know link up and i've been doing this all my life <laughs> for a while you know i even went to your country in london for many years from back um 20 years ago 
and I would link up with certain people that that even passed away, you know. So yeah, I've been I've been traveling. I'm a traveling youth from long time, but I I found my His Majesty, you know, kind of like maybe uh, after my dance all days, which was in uh, 1990, maybe. 2000s that time i started to really get serious um until that i experienced you know um going to jamaica and knowing what rasta was about and go to the hills and you know i even went to london to study what it's about <laughs> go to the naya bingies you know the 12 tribes all of those places and see what it's about you know and then so yeah 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 so it's 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 a i cannot really explain it so short because my life is very has a long profile if i go back you know but it's it's like that i i just i give thanks to ja because he made me who i am now and i wouldn't be here today even talking to the eye you know so, so I just all give right thanks. um yeah. so what what type of vibration now you get now from the rasta bridge in them now when you go and check them in the hills and you know what I mean you want to find out and you know you you, you know you're attracted to um Rastafari and you want to learn about the culture and thing. What type of energy you get from the birds in them when you go and check them? Well I I you know obviously in Japan we respect and we believe in Buddha, yes. It's a Buddhist country. So and then we also have a strong Christianity, yes, because uh, Japan is influenced by America. So you would have, um, you know, kind of like the Christian, and then you got the, the Catholic, and then you got the Buddhist. The Buddhist is the most strongest, or Shintoism, we say. Um, but, you know, you got this kind of culture there, which I've always had through my youth, while I grew up in Japan. Um, you know, you would go to Catholic school, or you would go to a Christian school, or you go to a Buddhist. Uh, the Buddhist school would be a public school. So I kind of experienced all of these places. And I knew about Jesus. I knew about Mary, and I knew about Buddha. And I would go to, you know, I kind of had this time where I wanted to see what is the truth. I didn't really believe in God. Um, and I wouldn't receive all of that because I was more of a rude boy, you know? I still am in certain ways, and that's what pushes me, but I, I learned to um, hold a meditation, like I sing Cool Down, and you know I believe in the Father because he's helped me many times. But in the beginning, I had this mentality, I don't believe in Jao or God. There's no such thing, because all I knew was, was, was I wasn't received well from these kind of people you know so when i met the rastaman the rastaman showed me that it's not so hard it's 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 unconditional love you know and one love and what is this one love is there such thing as a one love and how can one love exist and i started to study and then i said who is this king this this man you know i wouldn't say i just looked him looked at him as a man i said it's very strange. What, why is he a god or a king? And then I started to look into it deeper and deeper. And, uh, you know, I started to feel the spirit. I, I felt that I was changing. And the, the way the Rastaman lived was pure love. You know, they might look wild on the outside because I'm not used to the Nazi dread and the, you know what I mean? All of the, the smoking and the, the you know, but, it, and I felt something spiritual. And, and I said, there, they're based on the Bible, though. They're based on the Bible. So this must be something real, but they don't rate the whole Bible. And certain teachings are different. So I said, that makes sense, because it's like, I didn't believe in this um, Jesus Christ, really. You know what I mean? That he was a white man and all this and that, you know? So uh, when I found that his majesty was the king of kings coming back and all this and that, it didn't make sense. But I said, but that does make sense, because... They didn't teach this in our culture. They didn't teach this all over the world, you know? 
And then I said, there's a lot of things that, that I found out in the scriptures that they follow that I said, well, this is, they're talking about the Old Testament, you know? And when I heard the Old Testament, that's the part where I really loved in the, in the scriptures because I kind of studied it once, but I didn't understand it, you know? And then when they, they go to Psalms and King Solomon and King David and the lineage of Queen Ashiva and how it relates to his majesty, I said, wow. This is something I feel, you know? So I can Rastafari. go deeper. But so, all right. So, Rastafari. Yes, I. Yeah, man, give thanks. I, I, said, I said, Black so, King, this is real. And then even more, I will go deeper right now. Just I'll say it in one minute. But His Majesty was a bona fide of Emperor Hirohito and the Emperor of Japan. And this was where I really got into it. I got shocked because the, the Japanese did it. We're not friends in the World War II with America because we obviously had this war and we lost. And we were not friends with, you know, a, a, a lot of the European mm -hmm. you know, until... Uh, and the first allies, I would say, would, like, would be Ethiopia with Japan. So we, I studied the history. I said, what is this linkage with, with Rasta and Selassie and Hirohito? And then this is like our emperor. There's only two emperors in the world, like the East, the Far East, and Africa. So I said, wow, this is something. And they were good, good friends. But as I studied deeper, I said, America mush up the war, you know? And then they, 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 they burned all the documents probably to the now, you know? And yes. there's not much history, but there is some history that they cannot hide, which I know, you know, which we had the first Japanese... Um, um, woman to go marry his majesty's son because the Ethiopia was calling for uh, somebody to marry him and this was set before the war um, that happened before 1945 or something like that so it, it was already set for Ethiopia um, prince gonna marry a Japanese princess you know and it's clear history where there was a link, linkage with uh, Ethiopia and Japan, where Japan traded uh, culture, where you go, uh, you have the hot pass, I, you know, um, in Ethiopia, where Ethiopia, His Majesty came to Japan and gave the first lions in Japan. So this is something how the lions came to Japan were from Ethiopia, and it was His Majesty's pets, one of them pets, uh, he had a couple lions, but he probably brought a couple to make it happen. And that's how we got our first lion in Japan. Right, so the there's family. a lot of things that there's nobody really talking about it. But I just know because I, I studied it and I, I heard from many people who, who maybe even know the, the emperor's uh, lineage people. Um, but it's very hidden and untold so you know um there's not much written history about it but if you can you give... search sometimes you can find some information on ethiopian japan relationships and there's a lot of things that you would probably hear of what i'm saying now yeah we give thanks we give thanks um we give thanks to the knowledge and the information it is um paramount Yes, yeah. I, yeah, we give thanks. All right. Um interesting, you know, you, you know, it, it, it really um interesting. It's good to have you on the program. It's really good to have you on the program and you know it's interesting what you are saying. Yes, that is sir. what I'm not really interrupting, I'm just letting you flow. See? So yes, all right, sir. hear me I say I know. Um in a Europe, Zane, in a Europe, um, Europe seems to have their God as as um as Jesus Christ, right? And um, yeah. as as you rightly say, in, in 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 your side of the town, Buddha, Buddha is 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 the God that everyone everyone prays, right? Yeah, majority, yes. Majority, okay. Lovely, mm -hmm. and um, in in other places like um, even in in Arabia, 
Allah is the God that um, the Arabians praise. Okay. Yes. And um, in 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 India. Yes. We have um Krishna. Zim. All these yes. gods. Zim. All these different nations of people. Right? Mm. Unique, you know, it's a very unique thing. And as I say, yeah. everyone um, believe that, you know, their God is is the right God and everyone is saying, you know, the right thing. You know, but mm-hmm. here a virgin like the I know, you know, from out of Japan and you know, you didn't believe in I know, yeah. I know take on to Rastafari I know. Oh oh yeah. oh your fellow people now um look on the eye. Oh 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 how they view you. What 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 type of vibration you get from your people? How they look on me. Yeah. Uh yeah. Well uh, what I'm doing and what I'm living and how I you know hail his majesty and, and, and reggae music and Rasta like you know, having Natty dread on my head in the Babylon, you know, is it's not easy. It's like I would I would say it's like you're fighting a battle. You know, I don't know how it was back then in Jamaica when the Rastafari movement happened and and where the police would harass you and brut- brutalize you and these things. But I've gone to a lot of the harassments to the police and many um, discrimination from my people for choosing Rasta life. Um, basically, they would look at you very, very strange for just being who you are, um, because they would always expect the herbal uh, usage and that comes with the reggae and the Rasta image. And um, in our, in my country back home, it's not uh, it's not possible. It's 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 illegal, and you would go to jail for a very, very long time for. It matters what kind, but you still go there where over here or in the West, you will not have this kind of treatment, you know? So it's illegal to be a Rasta man in your country? Yeah, it's illegal. I would say it's illegal mentally, you know what I mean? Because physically you can wear what you want, you can dress how you want. But it doesn't mean that they will accept you because usually when you want to get a job, you cannot have this kind of hair. You know, even though you have the skills, if, even though you have a license, even though you're like, unless you do your own business, you have to be independent. And if you don't, then you have to go abide by the rules of the system, where the system in a company, even though I speak English, which I used to teach English when I didn't have a job, um, I would teach English and I would teach certain things to, to the Japanese people. And... Um, the school wouldn't hire me because of my dreadlocks, um, my beard. So, you know, these things have to leave your your physical appearance, you know. And uh, mentally, they would silently kind of think of you strange because, or bad, or a criminal. Because, you know, that's the eyes of the normal people. Reggae music, it used to be popular because they didn't know that these things were included, you know? They didn't know the power of His Majesty. They didn't know the power of the of the reggae music until it got so powerful that you got people smoking around and getting arrested. Mm-hmm. Then, then the media start to brainwash the people and say, this is bad music. Not only that, but hip hop music. And then at the end of the day, it's like saying black music is bad. That's for gangsters. That's for criminals, you know? And this is the media um, influenced by America, you know? Because America has freedom still, but Japanese is like a slave of America. You know that. Because after the war, they gave us freedom, but they didn't give us the full freedom like America did, you know? And they would keep Japan to the end. <laughs> Even though we have China and Korea, like, you know, next door. You know, if I go deeper, it's like, we so, are like... All right, it's good that you even um, said that. Because what, what, what are your view upon um, uh, the whole um, 
North Korea and, 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 and America with this nuclear weapon thing. Mm. Yeah. Well, North Korea, North Korea is, uh, I would have, have to say they've got to do what they're doing, you know. <laughs> you know, but I, I, I don't want to get too deep with that. But, like, they, they, they know Japan is a target. So they were once, like, last year, I think, starting to bomb us and things like that. And missiles were going over our heads, you know. And uh, they did that on purpose to, to get America pissed off, you know. Um, China claims to have certain land of Japan, which is kind of like a bully because they know that it's our land, but they want to claim it. We have problems with Koreans because Korea want to claim some of the islands of ours. So, you know, basically we are same Asian, but Japanese, I think, are very um, unique and very special. Um, at the same time, we're not as... as um, aggressive like Chinese and, and Koreans, you know? So it's easy for so, them to kind right. of... Yeah, all right, hold on. Um, yeah. All about things more actually on the time kind of run out, you know? Watch yeah, yeah, yeah. Zane, um, in a Jamaica, I know you perform in Jamaica already. I think you're probably open for, I think it was Garnet Silk. Was it Garnet Silk? Yeah, there was a Garnet Silk tribute back in 2003. Um, in his hometown, Mandeville, I think it was, yeah. Great was, experience. Uh, yeah, that was great experience. That's when Sisla, Anthony B, Turbulence, Jamason, all of them really start to rise, you know. Um, Exterminator, Fatis, um, all of them people were there with Sisla, Luciano, you know, like, um, this is where Garnet, you know, after, it was it was a couple of years after Garnet passed away, and I found a lot of the real Rastafari in Jamaica. Um, back then, there was an elder who was Chinese Jamaican who who really showed me a lot of love, and um, that's where I really kind of got really deep into His Majesty and started to know what the real thing is about you know but um it, it was they were they were the Ghana silk family back then um so i didn't get to really meet garnet there but i did see him um when he came back back in the days but um i was around his people <clears throat> so i was blessed to to get the vibe you know Yes, I. Of how Garnet was with Love Rastafari. And, and I felt his spirit because he inspired me to sing like now. Uh, I'm more original, but I used to cover a lot, a lot of his songs. I, you know, of course, I was influenced by a lot of singers. So I would sing all of their songs very good. And I do that a lot in my country. But, you know, over here, I cannot really do that because I, I'm more original. But I, I do sing Garnet if I wanted to. And I sing it really good. But I know the vibe to that time in Ochoius. Because he was around that area. You know, and that's where my Jamaica really kicked into me back in the days. I think that was 2003. Yeah, 2003. Those those times were very, very um, big. Because it was right after Ghana passed away. So everybody was there. The big names who, who who respect Garnet, yeah, man. So, yeah, yeah. That's that's my history where I opened it up in front of the whole country right there that night from Japan with my Japanese band. Rastafari. Um, it was yeah, man. So that's that's Pause. when Ja said, yeah, you can go on to you know, and I said one day I want to go step out and do my thing again, but it took maybe. 15 years, 16 years to really dip on the grind like I'm doing right now. So I've been I've been ready for this for a long time, what I'm doing, like these songs that are just coming out. It's 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 a lot of energy I and time that nobody knows. So I give thanks that you are exposing my interview because people will know why I'm singing this, why I'm singing like this, and 
I hope people feel my energy and and, and get some inspiration. Yes, I yeah, man. Every time. And before, but we, cause we have three more minutes to leave. Um, talk to me about the the um connection with the, yourself and um dark room entertainment. Well, dark room entertainment. Yes, I big up and bless up, um, brother Kobe. If you're listening now out there That's in Ghana, amazing. yes, I yeah, man. Uh, give thanks to the eye, you know, and give thanks to the link to um, your elder, I just stars. <laughs> Yes, I. So, yeah, man, he he linked me. I was in Japan. Um, maybe this was like last year around yeah, May. Yeah, it was about May. He linked me out of the blue <laughs> on, on, on my internet, on my Facebook. And, and I said, who's this African youth? We don't know the African guy. And, and I didn't really... I wanted to go to Africa. I've always, that's one of my dreams, yeah, to go to Africa. I've never been there. And there was many times I was offered to go there, but it just, it didn't happen, you know? Yeah. Um, so I know Jazz going to take me there on the right timing. And I, this is my dream. No disrespect, but to Jamaica, but more than Jamaica, I think I need to go to Africa. Of course, I want to go to Jamaica, but... Africa is one of my dreams, you know, because I sing a lot about Africa and about the motherland. And as a Rastaman, you know how it is. <laughs> yes, it, I... You know, it's it's like one of my dreams to go there, especially Ethiopia, you know. But the time will come. He linked me and I was very touched, impressed because I said, why me, you know? Um, and then he said, I'm from Ghana. I said, yeah. Okay. You know, I just felt the vibe. Yeah. Yeah. I just felt the vibe. Well, and he just sent me a rhythm called Joyful Soul. You know? And he said, This is my first project. Um, I want you to voice. So I took time and I and I said, Yeah, let me build a tune to this. And then eventually I made a song and it turned out good. From there we started to communicate for like almost one year. You know, so yes, I. I give thanks, and it's yeah, called man. um just so, yes, and I. now it's 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 I think it's doing pretty well. Um, I'm sure he's proud of me for making it a very nice song, which I really, I'm I'm very joyful like the the rhythm, and I call it just so, featuring um one of my elders called Isaba, who is a dub poet, and. Uh, He's he's a he's a he's been my elder for a long time, um, ah. yeah. So I just from there now Kobe yeah. is with me, you know. But general, and we're trying to trying to do things. Yeah. Yes, I give thanks. We we, we you know we're out of time on the program still. Yes, so I. um, yeah. Sorry for the sound be a broke like that. If no, you man. can give um, thanks, man. tell the people them what them can find you and think for um you know. Where them, where them can get the music and where them can get in, all them can get in touch. Yeah, you can find all my my new stuff on CJ Joe, uh, um, CJ Joe on iTunes, CJ Joe Far East um, on Facebook, on um, Instagram at CJ Joe Far East. Um, you can find, just type in CJ Joe Reggae, you know, and you'll find a lot of me. In Japan, I go by the name CJ, you know, because uh, that's how I started. And uh, they used to call me Crazy Joe back in my root boy days. And then the time came where the C became the conscious Joe, you know, um, the cool Joe. <laughs> yes, I. And now, now, now I say, what does CJ mean? I say CJ, <laughs> you know. So it's it's a, it's a C for many things: conscious, cool. Uh, when I was back in the days, you know, a rude boy on the street, you know, man is just a man, you know. So this is where they started to call me CJ. So I, I said CJ Joe because CJ Joe is is a, is another expression of me internationally. Yes, because, yes, my general. Know, yeah, man. Joseph, um... is, Joseph is my my tribe. 
you know, Joseph is my tribe as Aquarius. You know what I mean? So all right, Majin, that's, all right. that's why it's a Joe. Yes, yeah, sir. yeah, man. Give thanks. Uh, we all that we all that time, Zin. Yeah, so yes, sir. Yeah, no disrespect, man. I got to <laughs> Yeah, man. More love, more strength, and give thanks today. I taking the time. Zin, yes, peace and love. Yes, Everyone will take the time out for two.